Good evening. My name's Angie Heath and I'd like to welcome you to Compline or Evening Prayer at Lilford Church. A moment of quiet. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. I'm going to read Psalm 4. Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you nobles dishonour my glory? How long will you love vain things and seek after falsehood? But know that the Lord has shown me his marvellous kindness. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when their corn and wine and oil increase. In peace I will lay down and sleep, for it is you, Lord, only who makes me dwell in safety. <coughs> Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our reading for today from the Bible is... Chapter, John chapter 3, verses 7 to 11. You ought not to be astonished then when I tell you you must be born over again. The wind blows where it wills. You hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from or where it is going. So with everyone who is born from spirit... Nicodemus replied, how is this possible? What, said Jesus, is this famous teacher of Israel ignorant of such things? In very truth, I tell you, we speak of what we knew, we know, and testify to what we have seen. And yet you all reject our testimony. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. Mine own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. The Collect Lighten our darkness, Lord, 
and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Now our parish prayers. Loving Father, we pray for all our families in Lawford and in the wider world. We pray for families struggling to put food on the table and for those families facing another lockdown away from school life. We pray for those in authority who are working hard to make our country safe again. Please strengthen their decisions. For those in hospital suffering from COVID-19, we ask for a swift recovery. We pray for the doctors and nurses who are fighting to give the best possible care to these very sick people. We give thanks for the second vaccine to become available and we ask for a speedy delivery for those administrating it. Now we pray for the sick in our own parish. We pray for Richard Ling, Sue and Charles Allbones, Sarah, Sue, Catherine, Chris, Hazel, Jeremy, Jim Daltrey, Gordon, Jim Askew and Dick. And for those in, in, in pain of bereavement, we pray for the family and the friends of Derek Sellen, whose funeral will be held at St Mary's on the 13th of January. Hold them close to your heart, O Lord. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of bread. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord make look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. God bless you all. And can I remember those who are related to or, or, or have any little Edward Bear people? Next Monday we start again at 10 o'clock in the morning and we should be doing soapy paint. Bye. <laughs>